are building a platinum edition and we figured this would be a good opportunity for me to show you how to line up your engine. It's very important to have the drive line and the engine where the coupler meets to be dead on the money. And uh, if you can come a little closer, I can show you all details what it takes. Yes, here we are now. Uh, we have an top view of the work that needs to be done. We just set the engine in place, okay? No, no bolts holding the engine or anything. As you can see, the engine go, goes back and forth and no driveline coupler, okay? What you have to use on this case would be a straight edge or a filler gauge that you can measure. As you can see, you're gonna put some light in here and you can see that the driveline, usually, most of the time, the driveline is higher than the engine. So you have to lift the engine to the proper height so the coupler would not interfere with the alignment. So that means we have to raise at least two and a half millimeter gap, as you can see right there. Follow me so far? So the procedure would be put four bolts in place just to so the engine so the shims won't fall off the alignment here. And this stand is a little tall for me, so I'm on a short side, but that's okay. I can still get it done. My mom told me I'm still in the process of growing, so it'll be okay. Uh, let me get the shim here. We have three different types of shim. We have a two millimeter, one millimeter, and a half millimeter. Okay, those are the three options we have for shims. Okay, so here's your two millimeter shims, which they're thicker, okay? Here's one millimeter shim, and here's the half, okay? So we got them all. Um, now, let's see here, okay? You always start with two, and you always raise the engine uh, on, on the pipe side higher first before you do anything else. You do always front, you do side to side first, first you get the height. And then shims have side, the radius side that has a, a radius in the shim right here, that's always up, okay? And that's the reason why we'll put the bolt so the shims won't slide back. You slide the engine back, you take your filler gauge. Oh, another thing you can use, if you don't have a filler gauge to measure the height, you can use a shim. This side of the shim is actually straight, okay? So let's do it that way in the budget way. And here we go. We got another millimeter to go. So we go ahead again. We do two millimeters. We do, yeah, let's do two on this side also. And that's what it usually comes on the ski. Two millimeter on each motor mount. Okay, slide it back again, just check it. Right there. Watch light. Shim. Boom, right on the money. As you can see, there's no gap between. But what it means here is the right height but the front of the engine is lower. If you look in the front of the shim, you can feel, you can see a little gap there, correct, Liz? Can you see it? Yes. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna have to raise the front and it's not by much. So we're gonna go with the half mil one, all right? We're gonna do half mil in the front on this side. And we're gonna do another half mil on this side. Since this ski is originally from Japan, it's all by millimeters. It's a metric system. And then again, you go back and forth. And there you are, dead on the money. So the ski lines up this way as far as height with the drive line, and it lines up this way. So now, if you wanted to confirm, just to make sure that your gaps are the same, you take a true up. millimeter you measure the gap in between here two and a half there you go then you measure here then you measure here and then on the very bottom you can use the filler gauge or you can use your own shims and for us see for us let's see it's that measurement all the way around and the gap you want once you have everything bolt on it's about two and a half millimeters not less than two not more than three that's the gap you want in between couplers, okay? Then the next procedure is pretty simple. You take the bolts out, right? Put the bolts always on the side where, it, then you pull the shims out. You don't need to mark it, you just lay it in there. 
buy the motor mount and just took her apart. And set that one in there. Take this bolt out. Take this one out. And then you pull the shims out. Because you have now a slide your drive line cover it. Alright. Slide your engine forward, almost falling off the, the motor mount there. And since we didn't do, did do much preparation for this video, uh, I gotta get the drive line cover, which is right here. Get the drive line cover. I'm doing a video. Is somebody on the phone for me? Yeah. Who is it? I don't know. Let me talk questions about a jet ski. Hang on a second. Can you tell him I'm in the middle of a footage here? And I'll call him back. All right. There you go. Slide it back in place. All right. Take care, folks. I'm a big fan of a blue Loctite, so just take some blue Loctite. And we also are going to use our engine locks. Those are it.